Good evening, people of Watch 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. Once, the, once you get saved, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit leads you, guides you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit seals you until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. Period. Not only are you rapture ready and saved, but you're sealed until the day of redemption. I got to give you this article, and this is um, this is what's going on right now. This is off of Now the End Begins. Joe Biden's Waterloo. Hope for stranded Americans begin to fade with Kabul airport gates now closed. Taliban confiscating U.S. passports. Now... It says, the warning for Americans to stay away from the Afghan capital's airport due to potential security threats outside the gates. A sign of growing hostility. Growing uh, volatility at the choke point for thousands of Afghans desperate to escape the country's um, <clears throat> new Taliban's uh, rulers. The New York Times reported all of the entrance gates to the airport were closed as of now, as of this morning, actually, well, right now, because of the dangerous situation. Now, that means that thousands of Americans were still stranded over there with no way of getting out. And it don't look like there is no way. I forgot. One of the guys. I saw an article. I think Kevin saw an article on it. He was on Fox News. Sometime. And he said. Give him nine guys. And he will get them people home. And I tend to believe that. But that's not going to happen. It says the Kabul airport gates are reportedly closed as additional details indicate the Taliban is confiscating U.S. passports. Everything Sleepy Joe is saying is a lie. Not only that, but he is delusional about what's going on right now. Either that or I, I don't know. I, I have no, you know what? I do know. He's just, he's delusional. As the sunset on Afghanistan tonight, the hopes for many thousands of Americans stranded there by Biden's surrender order sank a little lower as well. A situation that started bad and quickly progressed to awful is about to reach horror movie status. And it's true. Definitely. I wonder how the world will react to seeing American hostages on the nightly news held their... Uh, held there by weapons paid for by the United States and given to their captors. Joel 3, 1, 2. Very important verse in the Bible. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land now listen to this that's Joel 312 now listen to this over in Israel right now don't forget let me add all this let me let me get off well I'm not getting off subject there's a hurricane named Grace that's coming on the land. New England is about to get hit with a hurricane that's happened in, they haven't gotten hit by one in 
30 years? Let me tell you what's happening right now. Over in Israel, preparations are being made with the Dopey administration to discuss implementing the two-state solution, dividing Israel to give it to the Palestinians. The new Israeli Prime Minister Bennett is scheduled to meet with resident Sleepy this Thursday. <laughs> Jeffrey goes on to say, golly gee, I wonder if America handing, uh, handing Afghanistan to the Taliban has anything to do with dividing Israel to create a Palestinian state. He goes on to say it's a rhetorical question, so please don't bother answering right now. Folks, like I said, things have gone literally from bad to very, very, very bad to, to we're, it's no longer boiling. It, we're boiling over. We're boiling over. This is from Breitbart News. All the entrance gates to the airports were closed Saturday morning because of the dangerous situation. The New York Times reported adding the New York, um, uh, adding the U.S. Embassy in Kabul is advising evacuees not to travel yeah. to the airport in light of security threats. I bet you can't. I mean, they got them all covered. You, I mean, they, the Taliban has everything covered. You can't do anything. Because of potential security threats outside the gates of Kabul Airport, the in embassy alerted on its website, we are advising U.S. citizens to avoid traveling to the airport and to avoid airport gates at this time unless you receive individual instructions from a U.S. government representative to do so. That's what they're saying. Um, I'm going to link this article in the description box. Um, I've said this before. I, I really... I told Kevin this tonight. I really don't see it. And even he's seeing it now. I don't see us being here much longer. I really don't. In the light of everything, and I'm including everything that's going on right now. It is getting to the point where it is getting impossible for the church to remain here in this earth. If it wasn't for the elect's sake, I know that's regarding the uh, tribulation and so forth. I know that, but right now, it is really to the point where I personally, I, I cannot see the church being here much longer. What's happening right now is that there's a control that's being taken place. And I guarantee you, they can try to control the people. And I'm talking to government. But... That's not going to work, especially with a lot of other people. I'm going to link this in the description box, and I will, if anything else comes up, um, I will be back. And in this, in this article, you will also see how the Taliban has uh, American weapons. They're using the Americans' uniform. They're, it's a picture here. Of the Ameri of them wearing um, their uniform, military uniform, and the American weapons and the cars and the trucks that they're driving. I will let you um, read this article, and if anything else comes up. I will be back.